I notice it at Christmas time more than any other. When I see the tree decorated and lit, it conjures so many wonderful memories gone by and moments to come. What I notice, though, is momentary, yet it causes me some pause. It's the moment that I remember I see things in bokeh. Bokeh is the photography term used to define out-of-focus light sources that look like neat circles in the background of the photograph. Bokeh originates from the Japanese word which means blur. In this brief moment when I see the Christmas tree and the lights, I remember these lights aren't the only things blurry. Everything in my vision is blurry. The blur extends over into my internet intervention of family, career, entertainment, and community where none of these are siloed or distinct but overlapped and blurred. A bokeh of love, loyalty, and curiosity that weave the narrative of my story. I was never supposed to be a part of any family. When I was born three months premature in 1973 at only two and a half pounds, doctors told my parents to not name me, saying I wouldn't survive. Not believing that for an instant, my parents gave me the strongest name, Joshua Bernard Zachary Loebner. At the age of nine, I was diagnosed with glaucoma. I had to have my left eye removed. I was sent to a school for the blind, weaving into my life a first sense of a welcoming community among people with disabilities. In 1985, when I was 12, my community shifted from Los Angeles, California to rural Appalachia. While a culture shock, it established more of a sense of community upbringing and stronger bonds. Those stronger bonds with community continue through my service on the city of Knoxville's Mayoral Council for Disability Issues. Community and entertainment weave together with my role on the advisory board of Dollywood, sharing insights to better the amusement park towards greater inclusion of people with disabilities. This is my wellspring of joy. She's an art director and brand manager, and my career, community, and family, and entertainment layer onto one another in our conversations, convictions, passions, and purposes. These are my daughters and loves, and this is my larger family. My career, which is truly my entertainment, has thankfully flourished, but has been challenging at the same time. After recognizing that few people in the industry were writing about disability and advertising, or actually having disability in advertising, I took up the torch and in 2011 started the blog AdvertisingAndDisability.com. A larger community of advertising professionals builds crossover with my career and I speak on the subject of advertising and disability. I was fortunate to receive the American Advertising Federation's highest honor, the National Silver Medal. And with my wife in the advertising industry, she was right by my side. My life is in Boca, which is more than all right with me because my mind is in focus. 